Good morning and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. Um, my name is Aura Martirosi and I'll be running you through a quick demonstration of this particular product. The main purpose behind the product is to allow you to import your information from Excel directly into Sage with the least amount of uh, keystrokes. Of course, Sage already uh, allows you to import data, uh, but uh, it's not as easy or as intuitive as Excel to Sage, and it only allows you to import data into a single company. It also doesn't really cover all the day-to-day -day transactions that you're most likely to be interested in, like sales invoices, purchase invoices, and multi-company structures. So what does Excel to Sage actually allow you to do? Well, it allows you to do all your work in Excel, uh, which is where most accountants uh, spend most of their time. And then by just literally using one click, it will bring the information straight into a single Sage 50 company or multiple Sage 50 companies. The types of transactions that are covered uh, depend on the version of the product that you have. So the single company version allows you to do customer suppliers, product codes, sales invoice batches and purchase invoice batches, as well as normal ledger, journals and stock adjustments. The multi-company version goes uh, and expands on this uh, base core of transactions and allows you to do multi-company sales and purchase invoice batches, as well as intercompany trans stock transfers and normal ledger journals. With the single company version, there you get one company by default, but with a multi-company version, you get two companies by default, but further companies can be uh, licensed in packs of five. So the, what are the main benefits of Excel to Sage? Well, uh, above all, it's very easy to use, incredibly cost effective, because what you can have is multiple Excel spreadsheets being used uh, to upload a single uh, licensed version of Sage 50, which can be very cost effective from a licensing perspective. Uh, it allows you to have user-defined validation lists uh, and uh, it has uh, no particular requirements to have uh, Sage Line 50 installed on the same machine as Excel. Uh, one of the key benefits of the Excel to Sage product is in the multi-company environment whereby you can uh, post things to multiple companies simultaneously without having to log in and log out of each one individually and uh, importing them accordingly, which I shall show you shortly in a demonstration. In terms of user comments, uh, just some of the comments that we've received, uh, which have been uh, glowing. Basically, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's a must have uh, for any Sage 50 users. And if you uh, work in an organization which uses multiple Sage 50 companies, uh, such as accountancy practices, uh, then it saves you an awful lot of time and money. So how does it work? Well, dead simple, really. Uh, you basically import the data into an Excel spreadsheet and you can see the various tabs at the bottom representing the different types of transactions that can be have. You then press one button. So in this particular case, I'm going to be uploading some sales invoices and it then appears in Sage 50. It's that simple. So let's go and have a look. So in this particular example, I've got... Uh, Let's start with single company sales invoices. So I can pick the account that I'm going to be raising the sales invoice on. I shall give it a reference. So in this particular case, uh, 0856, uh, which is the time. The date of the invoice. Again, I've got drop down lists for the VAT type. It's a hundred pounds and I'll give it uh, some detail lines. So widgets one could be a transaction detail and uh, I've obviously got access to the chart of accounts there. So having done that, all I do is I save that. So I go into Sage Line 50. Let's go and open up the company first. Which is the default Red IT Demo Company. I'll go and have a look at my customer list. Red IT and if I have a look at the activities on that, go to the bottom. The last one is 0841. So let's come out of that. Go back into the Excel spreadsheet. And I'll just save that. And then I'll go to my Excel to Sage. And first of all, I'll connect to Sage. It's now connected. And all I do is say upload sales invoices. And at the bottom here, it's now told me that it's finished loading it. That's it. It's done and dusted. I can go into Sage, look at the activity, go to the bottom, and there it is 0856 going to account for 4000. And that's a widget. So that's how simple it is just to put a sales invoice on. And the same principle applies to pretty much all the other transactions. So let's do one of the most complex ones, which is an intercompany sales. So I'll come out of that, go back into my Sage 
Excel spreadsheet, go to Intercompany Sales, and now I've got the concept of a source company and a destination company. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to raise an Intercompany Sales from Red IT1 in that company, turn over a cap 4000 to the destination as Test Company 2, supplier code Red IT2, material purchases, and uh, this is taking place at 0857. I've got 58 and uh, that's the invoice date uh, I've got some further information right there's a VAT codes and so on and this is an intercompany service again what I'll do is I'll just save that go to Excel to Sage this time I'll go to the intercompany or the multi-company tab and I'll just say upload sales invoices tells me that I'm already logged on and there it is it's finished loading it into Sage Dead simple again, I'll go back into Sage and I'm now in my source company. I will look at the equity and in here I have raised it as an intercompany sales in the customer account in Red IT1. If I close that down and go into my second Sage 50 company, which is the test company 2, log in, go to the supplier list, go to Red IT2. And look at the activity on that. There we are. And that's the intercompany sale all done. The sales side in one company, the purchasing side in the other company. Well, I hope you found this presentation of interest. Um, please feel free to contact me on aura at red-it.co.uk and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any queries that you may have. Thank you for your time and attention.